In this instructional video, students will learn how to solve multi-step word problems. In fourth grade, students will solve four types of multi-step word problems. Addition and subtraction, multi-step with rounding, multi-step using all four operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and interpreting remainders. This instructional video will cover examples of all of the types of multi-step word problems covered in fourth grade. This word problem is an example of a multi-step word problem using addition and subtraction. Chris works mowing lawns in his neighborhood. He made $36 on Monday, $42 on Tuesday, and $54 on Wednesday. He needs to save $400 to buy a new game system. How much more money does he need before he can buy this game system? Well, first we need to figure out the information we need in order to solve the problem. We need to know how much money he needs to buy his new game system. Next, we need to figure out what information we have. Well, we know how much money he made on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and we also know how much money he needs to buy his new game system. Third, what steps we need to do to solve the equation. We need to figure out how much money he has, so add that all together, and then how much more money he needs, then subtract. So how much money he has would be 36 plus 42 plus 54 equals 132. So he has $132. And step two would be how much more money does he need? Well, if he needs $400 to buy the game system and he has $132, we would subtract 132 from 400, which gets us to 268. So Chris needs $268 in order to buy his new game system. This word problem is an example of a multi-step problem using rounding. There was a three-night concert at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. On the first night, 34,874 people attended, 27,923 people attended on the second night, and 20,183 people attended the third night. Rounded to the nearest thousand about how many total people attended the concert. Well, step one, would be round each value to the nearest thousand because it's said in the equation to round to the th nearest thousands place. So 34,874 rounds to 35,000, 27,923 rounds to 28,000, and 20,183 rounds to 20,000. Next, we add together the rounded values to arrive at the answer, which would be 35,000 plus 28,000 plus 20,000 equals 83,000. So about 83,000 people attended the three-day concert at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. This word problem is an example of a multi-step word problem using all operations. A developer was buying land. He bought eight acres of land for $1,125 per acre. He then split the land into three lots. How much should he sell each lot for in order to make back the money he spent? Well, first we need to figure out the information we need to solve the problem and we need to know how much money he needs to sell each lot to make his money back what information we have which is that he bought eight acres for one thousand one hundred twenty five dollars per acre and then he split it into three lots and what steps we need to follow to solve the equation we need to figure out how much money he spent on eight acres so multiply and then split that land into three parts divide so how much money he spent on the land was $1,125 times eight equals $9,000. So he spent $9,000 on the land and how much he needs to sell the land for once he splits it into three lots to make the money back, which is 9,000 divided by three, which is 3,000. So he needs to sell each lot of land for $3,000 to make his money back. This word problem is an example of a multi-step word problem with interpreting remainders. The entire fourth grade class is going on a field trip. They have to take vans on the field trip. Each van holds eight students. There are 135 students in the fourth grade. How many vans will they need in order for every student to go on the field trip? Well, first we divide 135 students by eight, the number of students who can go in each van. And that is 16 with a remainder of seven. So based on the answer to the equation, they need 16 vans to go on the trip with seven children left behind. Now this is where we interpret what that seven means. Are we leaving the seven children at school or are we taking them with us? 
So now we need to think, what do we need to do to make sure we have enough vans for each student to go on the field trip? So the fourth grade needs to add one additional van for the seven remainder students. So the fourth grade needs 17 vans to transport the students on a field trip.